let's solve uh, an example. Now, in example number one, so here's example number one. So example number one is we're going to solve, so solve the following equations in the range. So usually when they give a question on trigonometry, okay, they usually give a range. Okay, so solve the following equations in the range. So the range of angles in particular. So the range in this case is all of the thetas. Okay, so theta is an angle between 360 and 0 degrees inclusive. And here's part A, the first example. Sine theta is equal to half. Okay, 1 over 2. Okay. Now, the first thing to note is that sine theta equals plus half. For in this case, yeah. So the plus half is significant, okay, so it's very important. So this plus half means if we go to the cast diagram, so plus half means when we plot the solution, so when we draw the solution on our cast diagram, we're going to draw the angle, okay, uh, where sine is positive, and sine is positive in the all quadrant, the first quadrant, and in the sine quadrant, the second quadrant. Okay, so how does this cast diagram work? So let me go through the steps. So here's the solution. Now in step number one, so S1 means step one. So in step number one, okay, so we have this equation sine theta equals half. Okay, and as I said, plus half on the right means that sine is positive in our case. Now Step number one is we need to calculate the first angle. Now the first angle we call that the principal value. So principal value is the first angle that we calculate. So to calculate that we need to take the inverse sine of half. So that you can do in your calculators but sign, the inverse sine of half should be 30 degrees so that's the standard result. Okay. So we call that the principal value, so principal value, and principal of value is abbreviated PV. So we use PV for principal value, so that is step number one, okay? Now, once you have your principal value, so once you have your PV, you go to step number two, so let me underline that. Step number two is to plot 30 degrees where sine is positive. So that's the reasoning why I marked positive. So this positive, the plus half, plus half means sine is positive. That means that we need to plot 30 degrees on our cast diagram where sine is positive. And remember, sine is positive in the first, in the all quadrant, and in the S quadrant, the sine quadrant. Okay, so let's do a quick sketch. So quick diagram okay uh, let's quickly draw these quadrants so remember a s t c okay so sine is positive and we need to plot 30 degrees so we're plotting 30 in the all and in the sine quadrants because that's where it's positive and when you plot the angle guys always remember okay so always remember um, when you measure the angles, they're measured from the horizontal, okay? So only when you calculate the solution, you calculate it from the initial line, okay? But when you, when you plot the angle, 30 degrees, you need to measure it from the horizontal. So let me go through it with you. So 30 degrees from the horizontal in the all first quadrant is roughly this line in quadrant number one and 30 degrees in the sine quadrant from the horizontal to so start from there so just a rough indication is represented by this line in quadrant number two okay so this is how you would mark it on the cast diagram once you're happy with that to work out the solution so this is the final step step number three 
to calculate the solutions, and we need all of the solutions bearing in mind between 0 and 360. Okay, so, so in this case, going back to the range again, uh, we need positive angles. So between 0 and 360 means positive angles. Okay, so using this cast diagram, we measure the solutions from this initial line. So the first solution is from this zero degree initial line until you hit the first line. So in this case, the solutions are the first solution you can call theta one from this diagram, it's 30 degrees. And the second solution theta two, so again, start from this zero degree initial line, right round until you hit that second line. Yeah, so over here, it's going to be 180, the angle in the line, and you take away 30 degrees. So that amounts to 150 degrees. Okay, so in this case, you only have two solutions. Okay, um, because our range runs from 0 to 360, we only have two solutions. So um, if you think about it, if you were to calculate another solution, it will be from the initial line right round, so that's 360 plus another 30 until you hit that first line again. Yeah, so 360 plus 30. Um, would go beyond our range, okay, which is 360 degrees, okay, so hence we only have only two solutions in this case, okay. So that completes the first example, so just I broke it down into steps for all of you, so just three steps. We'll be using these steps in order to go through another example.